and with long-awaited justice for an Oklahoma family. A judge sentencing Alton Nolan to death for beheading a co-worker back in 2014. The victim, Colleen Hufford, viciously attacked inside Vaughn Foods and more. Her co-worker and others also attacked, including Tracy Johnson, who survived her injuries. And new here at 5 o'clock, family members ready now to move forward. News 4's Lili Zhang reports. Colleen Hufford's daughter says that she may never be able to forgive Alton Nolan for what he did to her mom. But with Friday's sentencing, she says she does believe justice has been served. While we may not have full-blown closure ever for the rest of our lives, at least it's a small piece of closure. It's a chapter Kelly Baranek says she's ready to close and heal from. On Friday, a judge formally sentenced this man, Alton Nolan, to death after he beheaded Baranek's mother, Colleen Hufford, inside of Von Foods. I think it's just satisfaction that things went exactly how we were hoping they would. Um, the way the jury worked out in our favor and she upheld that. Friday's sentence comes after a five week trial filled with evidence she says was difficult to see and hear, like this interview with police in 2014. I'll be here to somebody today. No, did you? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Somebody who doesn't uh, well, praise God, worship Allah. Nolan will also serve three life sentences plus 130 years combined for attacking another coworker, Tracy Johnson, and other workers at the plant. Justice was done, justice was served, and I'm glad it's over with. I don't have to worry about anything anymore. Nobody's going to hurt me at all. Prosecutors argued all of the punishments should be served consecutively. It's not meaningless because there were individuals that were uh, attacked that day and uh, and had to live through what they had to live through and they, they deserve to have a separate sentence. The next time Baranek says she'll visit her mother's grave, she has a message. I'll probably just say that I love her and that the 12 members of the jury and the judge did right by her. In the courtroom Friday, Judge Lori Walkley thanked both legal counsels, also recognizing the bravery of Huffer's family and the victims. Reporting in Cleveland County, Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Lily, thank you very much. Mashburn says the appeal process generally takes 10 to 15 years. That's if Nolan chooses to appeal at all. His attorneys did not have any comment for the media.